What's happening guys, Dread Eddie here, back with another video, back with another vlog, and welcome to the cave, where I like to talk about camera gear in a really informal manner. Today's video is all about the different types of Canon cameras I've had in the past, and the problem I have with the Canon R5, Canon R6, and what's absolutely going wrong with the latest firmware. Happening guys, thank you for clicking on the video. Please like and subscribe and encourage me to make more videos in the future. So welcome to 2022, new year, new me and all that rubbish. But I just wanna talk about general camera gear and there's one huge thing that I don't think is being spoken enough about the newest cameras and the latest firmware, but we'll get to that. So I've had Canon cameras from day one. Being a photo and videographer, I need a camera that can kind of do both. So straight out of university, I got the 7D, which people always used to say was a sports camera. And then I had the, the 5D Mark III, and I actually bought the 5D Mark uh, II after buying the Mark III, just because I loved the sound and how earthy and slow, and it was just a really charismatic camera. And then I went from the three to having two Mark III's to buying a Mark IV. Sold one of the Mark III's, and on a recent trip, I say recent, a couple of years, um, on a trip to Japan, I bought the 1DX Mark II, which of course Peter McKinnon and all the YouTubers are using. Totally stoked and happy to finally be able to afford that kind of camera. But in recent years, the Canon uh, camera series have uh, given birth to the cameras such as the R5 and the R6, and more recently the R3, and the R5C, the cinema camera, there's too many different variants, okay? So going into the future and the 1DX being such a massive camera, I decided to get the R5. Absolutely love this camera. Uh, the autofocus this is what we're using now. It can shoot uh, Canon Log 3, which is what I'm shooting now, so hopefully the colors are okay. And absolutely fallen in love with it. It's enabled me to do so much more with my photography and videography. And yeah, with the 5D Mark IV being my main studio camera and high megapixel, I thought it was time to retire that to doing more club work and having a newer version, uh, in my eyes, of the Mark IV in the R5 being a high megapixel camera. Even though it is high megapixel, it is still really, really good in low light. However, I was using the 1DX2 Mark II with the R5 and the weight difference was slowly eating away at me. And yes, we made the plunge. We sold the 1DX Mark II and we bought the Canon R6 there. Not that you're gonna be able to focus on it. But yeah, we got the Canon R6 as well as the R5. So now my mirrorless system is well underway. I've only got one uh, RF uh, glass, but we're underway with that. Yes, I was excited to get these new cameras, work, getting them working in the real world. And I was quite quick to update the firmware on both of the cameras and to quite quickly find out, uh, first off on my R5 and then the next day on the R6, that there is a bug with uh, Canon firmware 1.5.0. That in a very specific use case, if you're shooting using the screen flipped out and you are using face uh, autofocus, occasionally the camera will completely freeze up, the screen uh, will hold the latest frame, and even if you pop the door open and press any buttons or turn it off, the camera will stay on. You have to physically pop the battery out for it to turn off, reset the camera, and get back to work. Obviously, this isn't what you want on a wedding day, so in my mind, it's like, geez, I cannot carry on like this. So. I looked all over the internet to try and find a solution to be able to revert back to 1.4 because yes, 1.5 was awesome, bringing in animal autofocus, car autofocus, uh, some other quality of life things. But for me, it wasn't that much of a game changer. At the end of the day, these cameras are so good compared to the older cameras. The 7D and the 5D Mark III are just ancient in comparison to what the R5 and the R6 are able to do. If I, just so long as they work is kind of what I need. So I uh, was looking all over the internet. I came across one video of how to revert back. Now people are saying with the R6, you can revert back to 1.4 through the EOS utility app plugged into your desktop. I tried it that way. It crashed, it got to 60% and absolutely crashed, okay? From this video that I'll link down below and I'll probably put a little section of his video up here um, you can check his video out. He gave two options on how to revert back to 1.4. Uh, 
the, what, the method that worked for me is the method I'm going to tell you now and I'm going to film it afterwards with my camera so you can see what was how it's done, okay? So what you do is the camera won't initially revert back to 1.4 if you put that firmware into the memory card. So what you have to do is put 1.5 into a memory card, into the camera, and as soon as you put that in, you go through the process, the, the app within the camera. I'm, I'm gonna show you here so we can <laughs> do it at the same time. The way that worked for me is using one same memory card, put the 1.5, the most recent firmware on that memory card, put it in the camera, and then go to the uh, firmware installator. When you go into that firmware installator, you press OK, and at that same time, you open the bottom of the camera straight out. Once it's done that, it will freeze the camera. You take the memory card out. You put the 1.4 firmware onto the memory card. You put it back in, close it up, and then you would update with the new firmware on the actual memory card. I'll attempt to show you that now. Uh, hopefully you guys have some success with that. I am not recommending this, but if you need your camera for a professional use case and you're getting the same problems as me, hopefully this is a temporary solution that will keep you going for a little bit longer. On the camera, here we go. I put the 1.5 firmware on here. However, I am already at 1.4, but it's, I'm just showing you as, as a process uh, how to do it anyway. So you go into the camera here and then your firmware update firmware version uh, 1.5 uh, it should say you click OK and as you click OK you open the door at the bottom here okay and uh, three two one there you go okay it's frozen it turned it off you take the memory card out and you put the firmware on that you want so here we go I've got the firmware with the 1.4 uh, on here and I put it back in close the door, close the door of the batteries as well, and then it will load the program and it will show you uh, the firmware of 1.4 for you to be able to upgrade from. So you click on that and it will load and that's how it worked for me. And it worked back, taking it back to uh, 1.4 from 1.5. So I'm pretty sure <laughs> this is a much bigger problem the Canon uh, are letting on. People are poo-pooing the idea that there's anything wrong with the firmware online. Uh, however, I had it both issues with my Canon R5 and my Canon R6. So I'm staying at 1.4 until they bring out 1.6. But I hope this is helpful. I hope this is interesting. Please like and subscribe. So I'm just gonna leave it there till the next video. I'll see you guys later. Peace.